Chloe and Kim have lost weight. What is their billion dollar secret? Which of their 543 detoxes is leading to these stunning results? Is it this one, Courtney's Pooch Potion? No, it isn't. It's something far more powerful than the Pooch Potion. It might be an actual drug that's legal to buy. So, in this video, I'm going to explain the science behind this drug, how effective it is, the mechanisms of how it works, some safety considerations, and then give you a promo link to get 20% off if you bundle it with my patented facial enema. It also helps me get one step closer to buying my humble 5,000 foot yacht. Let's get to it. So. There are rumors, and there are only rumors at this point, as far as I know, which would be tough to get by me, considering that I keep up with the Kardashians every other decade or so, that there is a drug that celebrities might use to aid in weight loss. The drug has had a few studies to substantiate it, and if we look at some of the data from one of those studies, we can see why it's all the rage. The researchers simply had two groups of people. One group was given the drug that we're interested in, and the other group was given a placebo, essentially no drug. Then both groups were put on a 500 calorie deficient diet for over a year. Simple design, simple data. So what happened? As we can see by the blue line with the weeks on the horizontal axis and the weight loss on the vertical axis, the drug led to consistent weight loss that persisted over a year's time. Now, if you compare that to the placebo group who did also experience some weight loss, the difference is staggering. But we can take this a layer deeper. As you can see, people that were exposed to the drug lost about 16, 17% of their body weight, but that's an average, meaning that some people may have had less weight loss and others may have had more. However, over 90% of those on the drug lost at least 5% of their body weight, and over 30% lost 20% or more. So overall, highly effective, no doubt about it. Clearly this drug works, according to the research, but what is it? And how does it work? And is it safe? And most importantly, what will you put on your yacht, Nick? The drug's name, or at least the ingredient of interest, is semaglutide. Semaglutide is a GLP-1 agonist, which might mean absolutely nothing to you, so let me explain. GLP-1, or glucagon-like peptide, is a hormone that's released by your gastrointestinal system when you consume food. So once it's released, it travels through your body and interacts with a series of organs, from your pancreas to your brain, and once GLP-1 binds these organs using a GLP-1 receptor, the cells react by, for example in the brain, reducing the sensation of hunger, increasing satiety. Also, it affects the stomach, telling the stomach cells to slow down gastric emptying. What is that? Your stomach has a sphincter or gateway at the bottom of it that allows or disallows food to move from the stomach to the intestines. If gastric emptying is slowed, that means that the food sits in the stomach for longer, which, of course, is also sensed by the brain, increasing our perception of fullness. So, semaglutide acts as a GLP-1 mimic, hence the name agonist, because it, too, can bind the same receptors on the cells and potentially cause the same reactions. There are some added advantages to semaglutide that I won't bore you with in this video, but that's how it works. Yet the effects are far-reaching and affect more than just the brain and the stomach, although those are our concern in regard to weight loss. So, how does that help? Well, as you can likely imagine, if you eat food and you get a signal from a drug along with a signal from the food that you're full, you may eat less or you'll take more time before eating again, thereby eating less. This allows a person to stick to their diet because they have tilted the satiety signals in their favor. But considering you'd be introducing a foreign substance of that magnitude to your body, are there side effects? There are, 
Imagine if you start messing with how your body digests food. What might that cause? Food staying in your stomach longer than normal. If you guessed nausea, you'd be right. People that took semaglutide had higher rates of nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting, to name a few. Now, that isn't to say everyone experienced those effects, but it wouldn't be shocking if you did by any means. Also, people with certain pre-existing conditions like pancreatitis may have higher risk of exacerbating the issue. Beyond that, while there isn't any glaring data indicating horrible side effects like your eyes rolling back into your head or your arms falling off, keep in mind that we're really just talking about the effects that occur over a year. So long-term consequences are unknown based on this data. So if you're sold and you want to get your hands on this miracle celebrity drug, plus my patented facial enema for 20% off, then simply click the, there's no link. Of course there's no link and there's no yacht. I mean, just imagine a 5,000 foot yacht. The largest ones in the world are around 600 feet. Also, what's a facial enema anyway? Do you do the enema first and then do the face? Anyway, I, w <laughs> I would not advise you follow any of the advice or weight loss habits of celebrities if they use semaglutide or not, because many of them are among the most clueless humans on earth. And that goes for influencers as well, even if they seem to have things together. And that's why I'd strongly encourage that you check out some of my other Spotlight series videos where I break down the science behind people's claims. Some of it is absolutely wild. Hope this helped. Thanks for stopping by.